HashiCorp was founded by Mitchell Hashimoto and Armand Dagger in 2012 with the goal of revolutionizing data center management with application development, delivery, and maintenance. HashiCorp software stack enables provisioning of uh, resources with HashiCorp Terraform, um, securing your secrets with HashiCorp Vault, connectivity with HashiCorp Console, and running of apps with HashiCorp Nomad and the, infrastructure and the infrastructure to support them. As some of you already know, Checkpoint already has a module for Terraform, which allows customers to make changes to our platform. And today, we're going to focus on our console integration. Now, what is console? Console allows users to tackle some of the toughest challenges when it comes to deploying new application or making modifications to an existing application flow. It helps customers address the technical complexity of managing production services by providing a way to discover, automate, secure, and connect applications and networking configurations across a distributed infrastructure and clouds. What the team have created as part of console is Network Infrastructure Automation, or NIA. It enables dynamic updates to network infrastructure devices triggered by service changes. Console Terraform Sync utilizes console as a data source and Terraform as, as the underlying automation tool to execute one or more automation tasks that updates network infrastructure devices such as Checkpoint. As you follow the numbers on the slide, what is happening here is as soon as an application is updated in console, it will trigger a task in console Terraform Sync to initiate the Checkpoint Terraform module to make changes to the Checkpoint management station. What this allows our customers to do is to update the IP address of the application without having to do a policy install. Dynamic IP update is nothing new. Checkpoint had this integration with all our major private and public cloud providers for years, but because console is agent-based, it extends the dynamic update to on-prem data center as well. This is very powerful because regardless of where the application is hosted, whether it's on-prem, public, or hybrid cloud environments, console can help consolidate all your application details in one place. Now, under the hood, we're using dynamic objects. On the left, we have our console services, which is the dynamic object name. Then we have each service node as a tag value. On the right, we have an output of our security gateway that represents the service and a service node IP address. Once the dynamic object is created in Checkpoint, we can put them in our security policy. Now, no matter how many times each node IP address changes from there on, you don't have to go through the change management approval process again to install a security policy to reflect the updated IP address because all that is done for you automatically going forward. Now, I've been managing firewalls for close to 20 years. One of the major challenges that we have or that I come across is managing complex security policy with thousands of rules that accumulated over the years. And no one really knows um, which application is tied to which rule. Now with RED sub policy and console integration, and this also works for other cloud providers as well, we can group each application into a sub policy. Now, once the company decides to remove this application from its network, you no longer have to go through the pain of reviewing each rule as you can just simply right click on, in this example, Jira and delete the entire rule from its network. With Checkpoint and console integration, we simplify how customers manage security across the network. 